So let's see if we have a related species genome already assembled. Uh, how can we get benefit out of it? Uh, we might use it as a guide and to, to do a guided assembly. So uh, the availability of related species good quality genome uh, having large reliable scaffolds is always a great help and it helps in guiding the assembly of the target species and it can also help in verifying the completeness of the assembly. So once you are done with your assembly you can compare with some related species and you can find uh, if we expect that they are uh, 80 to 90 percent similar uh, same thing you can see in there uh, or close to it you can see in their assemblies. So it can uh, also help those uh, related species uh, assemblies uh, to be corrected. So sometimes you might find that those uh, those uh, assemblies which you are using as a guide, they might have some issues so that uh, in this comparison, you can also uh, fix some of their issues also. But sometimes uh, it can cause errors uh, if we have different architectures have been used or if different approaches for uh, assemblies have been used or uh, sometimes you might have uh, another issue like if you are using um, these guided assemblies you might be kind of overfitting so you are kind of already biased uh, towards uh, if you have uh, that reference already available so that that might not uh, you know help you explore some more novelties in your uh, your genome which uh, for which you are doing this this assembly. Another factor is uh, which is really important that what strategies you are using, what, what algorithms you are using, what software you are using, what uh, sequencing platform you are using for your assembly. So that factor is also important in, in this uh, genome assembly project. So here we can uh, have see a comparison for a bacterial versus vertebrate or we can say prokaryote versus a eukaryote genome. For prokaryote or bacteria, uh, you can use shotgun or mate paired. And then uh, you can use 454, your, your reads are over 500 nucleotides and then um, at the coverage is 25x. So in this case, you might want to use uh, assembler, we call it as Nubler. Same way you can come up with the past bio reads and then for that you can use Celera or PBJLA. For vertebrate genome, uh, you can have paired end reads uh, which are 100 nucleotides from Illumina. Uh, for that you need to have then big coverage which is 100x obviously that is also expected for a eukaryotic genome and the assembler which is uh, to be used with these Illumina reads uh, is all paths LG. Uh, we'll talk about these assemblers uh, in a later section which is coming from few more sections from now onwards. So what so far uh, we have seen here is that availability of a related species uh, good quality genome uh, might help in uh, uh, in a guided assembly and uh, the sequencing approaches and assembly strategies are interdependent.